blah, 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 blah. Okay, maybe I can't English, but I can write. Hey guys, and welcome to the Adventures of Kinku, where we talk about stuff and such. My name is Kayla, and welcome back to Serious Saturday, where I take a topic of interest, I dissect it, and you guys tell me what you think about it. So agree or disagree? Let's get into it. Today we're going to be talking about a subject that is of particular interest to me and my personal life, and that is writing. Now I know what you're thinking. She's going to give me a lecture about how writing is so fundamental and that you should blah 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 what they teach you in school, right? You couldn't be further from the truth, my friend. There are several reasons why people write, including myself, and there are also several reasons why we might suggest that other people should write like you as well if you don't already. Without further ado, here are five reasons why you should write. Number one, writing gives you the opportunity to express your emotions physically. By doing this, you can better understand your own emotions and the emotions of people around you as well. Scientific studies have also shown that keeping a journal and logging in daily emotions reduces stress and can help you solve problems more effectively. Number two, it creates a waypoint for others perhaps going through the same struggles as you may be going through or already have in your life. Although this doesn't necessarily apply strictly to writing, it is highly applicable to advising others in their life. By proving to another human being, perhaps a world away, that this crisis that they're going through is only temporary and that they're not alone, that, my friend, is truly genius. And beautiful that you have the chance to save someone's life. Number three, writing down memories, stories, songs, poems, dreams, and etc. enables you to create a sort of photo album in the words written. By creating a sense of your life now, your future self can look back upon your writings and evaluate all of the nostalgia as well as if you want to remember something important that happened in your life. Number four, by writing by writing frequently, you come to terms with making new ideas quickly in your mind and transferring them onto paper just like that. This can make you a fast thinker and reliable. You can also apply this skill to everyday life and embracing new ideas and becoming open-minded to the world around you and the varieties of people that make up our society today. Number 5. Writing makes you a generally happier and healthier person. Research shows that when you write about traumatic experiences and get a chance to reevaluate your emotions, you are more inclined to be less emotionally unprepared in a similar situation of sorts. Health-wise, writing can relieve stress, which is a major contributing factor to a wide variety of illnesses and diseases such as heart disease, asthma, obesity, diabetes, headaches, and even depression. All of all of which sound like they are particularly no fun to have. So please, contribute to the world how you perceive it, and maybe, just maybe, the world will give you a little bit of something back as well. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video, because it is a serious topic for me, and plays a huge role in my life. So, I'll see you guys next Wednesday. So get to writing. Goodbye!